to you right away. Thank you so much. We're a small group. We should well, get to know each other, right? So my name is Greg, Greg Smith. I've been part of a, the Rock River Drum Circle. For, we've had that going for about three years now. Uh, in the summer, we play on the pavilion once a month. In the wintertime, Voight lets us use the community space and we play there once a month. That's a great strap. I enjoy it. It's great. Now, what's a conga? Oh, Desi Art, no, those, these yet. are claves. Yeah. Conga is a, Desi Arnaz played. Right. Oh, sure, sure. A big, sure. tall drum on Yes, the yes, yes, yes. Let's put that down for now, okay? Yeah. So, I'm, my, I'm just going to talk a little bit about drums in general and some of the uses of drums and some of the types of drums. They're very short, and then I'm going to recruit you to learn some drums. We've got enough to be everything for all of us here to do something, okay? So, um, I hear people say, like, I don't have any experience with drums, I, or I, I don't have a sense of rhythm, I can't do a drum. Well, we all have a sense of rhythm. It's right here. It's right inside us. We have rhythm. And I tell people, the first drum you ever heard was your mother. Her heart. So I think that's part of where the healing comes from. Yeah. It's some of the attraction. Um, one of the stories from Africa is that humans did not have drums, but the chimpanzees had drums. And they would hear these drums going on in the jungle, and they didn't know what it was. And one day a hunter was out, and he saw a group of chimpanzees eating fruit out of a tree, and there was a drummer chimpanzee drumming. That was really cool. That was really interesting. So he, he set a, a trap. He dug a hole and covered it over. And the next day when he went, he had trapped the drumming chimpanzee. And he took the chimpanzee and the drum to the tribe and introduced drumming to his tribe. But the chimpanzees didn't have drums anymore. So that's why they beat their chests. Oh. <laughs> okay. So they still do that. So drums um, come from every culture. Every culture has had some version of drums. Um, the basic structure of drums hasn't changed in thousands of years. It's typically a wooden, uh, in this case, a, a container in a way or something like this would be a wooden frame with a skin over the top. And that's been the same across, around the world. Different versions and different styles and different tones and different purposes. But that's basically, that hasn't changed much at, at all. Um, except we have, and now we have synthetic <laughs> versions of them. Um, and, and drumming has many purposes. It's been a ceremonial purpose, ritualistic purpose, um, marriages, funerals, you know, those kinds of rituals, healing, shaman healing, uh, entertainment, in, our, in current use, we, we entertain ourselves with drums, uh, meditation. And for me, that's what it is. Uh, when I met with the drum circle, it becomes a couple of hours of meditation and it's a, uh, a rhythmic meditation it's not just sitting quietly I mean, some of that that's obviously a meditative form but this is a, a different way of, to meditate there have been a number of studies on the effects of drumming and there, there are some therapeutic um, reasons for doing drumming it brings together the right and left hemispheres of the brain and the nonverbal and the, the verbal cortex of the brain, so we get this synth uh, synthesis of what's going on in our head. And the eye hand coordination and the right left hand coordination, like knitting. Mm -hmm. People do knitting, and it's supposed to be therapeutic because right. you're getting your hands to work together. And drumming does some of the same thing, although it also pr produces um, an energy. You know, the, harmonics of a drum and 
I don't know all the science of it yet. Uh, I've just been reading a little bit about it. And I don't know even the psychologists know all of what's going on in, between drums and the drummer, but um, there are drums, drumming will promote healing, will promote your immune system, build up the immune system. They, they use drumming in, uh, to help people with who are afflicted with uh, ADD, attention deficit. It helps to focus. Uh, people learn how to focus better. It's used in healing people who have suffered stroke or who have some form of dementia. Mickey Hart, who's a real famous rock drummer, uh, has a story of visiting his grandmother who had been afflicted with Alzheimer's for many years and hadn't spoken a word in many, many years. And he went and did some drumming for her on his hand drum and she spoke his name. Wow. That's so wonderful. So anyway, um, so lots of reasons to do drumming. I, don't, I enjoy it. It's a, it's a community building activity with our drums, the drum circle we formed. We've had, you know, maybe sometimes five people, sometimes 15 people show up. And, uh, none of us knew much about drumming at all until we started. <laughs> we just got beating on it. We've gotten a little bit better over, over time, but what's fun is you start with the rhythm, something very basic, um, and then people feed off of it, and, and the rhythm evolves. So we might drum for 45 minutes without stopping. But it's just, it, it's not the same beat anymore. Things have shifted. It speeds up, it slows down. Different uh, harmonies kind of blend in, different instruments kind of blend in. So I brought a, a number of uh, types of percussion and drumming instruments. One of, this one is, as I mentioned earlier, this is a shamanic drum. And this is a style of drum that the Inuit shaman might use in a healing. And system. aren't theirs oftentimes way bigger? And, and they'll have, yeah. Yeah. It's a big, usually, the seal skin. Go online and find uh, videos of shamanic drumming. There are shamanic drumming groups in this country. People get together and they're, it's sort of a meditative healing process for them. It's a healing circle that's it's a, you know, using drumming as a medium for healing and um, sort of getting yourself together. Getting your, but it's also a community building activity. This one, this one is a buffalo drum. It's just this is obviously a synthetic version, but it's a Native American style. You can, you can hear the kind of thunder, yeah. thundering of the buffalo herds in this one. Um, there are some shakers and rattles. This one's another hand drum, just a small hand drum. So as we get going, feel free to come up and use some of the tambourine. Um, one of the favorite drums for drum circles is the djembe, because it has a, a good voice, and it has several kinds of voices that, that you can produce with it. Um, now is that and those two the same? They're the same right. pattern. And so this one is mahogany and it's carved. You can see it's carved out it's here. it's empty, it's not closed. Right. And you hold it between your knees because the voice comes up. So like that. Um, and the Malinka people in West Africa, they'll say the djembe has three spirits. The spirit of the tree, the spirit of the animal, the goat or little animal was the skin, and the spirit of the maker. Okay. Really? So it doesn't, okay. The person who made it, so all those are, those three spirits are embodied in, in the drum. Where does it? And then the player 
you're just not, you have access to their spirits. Okay. <laughs> okay, and it's, this is a tunable drum in that if, it's, if it gets too slack, there's a tool that can be used to, to tighten up these ropes. Um, in the synthetic ones, you can see there's little screws to tighten if we need to, to do that. Now, what kind of difference is there between the natural skin and the synthetic skin? I mean... In, in sound? Yeah. Well, you'll hear it. We'll play them, but you'll, okay. you'll hear it. Um, this is going to be more sensitive to temperature and humidity. Okay. So in the winter time, when it gets cooler and, and drier in the house, it, it slacks off a little bit. So and I'm, that changes the sound. And that changes the sound. Okay. So I'll, I'll put it over the heat register. <laughs> oh, there we go. And then heat up a little bit. That's but, interesting. Yeah. Because it's, it's an organic thing. It's a skin of an animal. These, um, and this, these are synthetic. Not, nothing's going to affect them the same way. So. Okay. So the sound is not going to... No. It's not going to be as individual as that well, one Well, I don't know. I mean, these two do sound a little bit different from each other, though they're identical looking and they're made by the same company. Okay. And they come in different different sizes. This is, uh, these are sort of on the larger diameters, but you can, you can get smaller ones, you get your hand. Um, well, mine is made very similar to yours. Yeah, and, yours is a Mediterranean. I mean, it's, it's hollow yeah. also. I'm going to guess it's a it's, synthetic head, yeah. but I don't know. Right. Yeah. I, mean, I just don't know. And that's a Middle Eastern style drum. Is it? Yeah. But it's the same principle as this. Mm -hmm. And in playing these, right. um, first of all, you don't want to be wearing any jewelry on your fingers because you, you could hurt your hands and you could damage the drum. So if you're wearing rings or whatever, you want to take them off when you're, you're playing a, drum, a hand drum like this. Um, this, a number of ways to do this, but there are three basic um, beats, ways to, to beat the drum. Oh, thanks. And there's the, the, it's called the bass, it's in the middle. So the idea is to have your hands going to go like this. It's, That's the bass, and then the tone is on toward the edge. And then there's a slap. And that's harder on your hands and on your wrists. I don't yeah. do that so much. Especially as you get older. <laughs> My wrists are more fragile, but bass and tone are, are pretty easy to, to work with. So if you want to Try a drum. Pick up a drum. And we'll, and we'll learn some basic rhythms. There you go. Oh, <laughs> Who wants it? Oh, gosh. I suppose. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of tip it over a little bit. Hold it between your knees. Try just the bass, just put your hand, let your hand bounce off it. And if you alternate, then you're getting to both parts of your, both halves of your body involved. I'm doing something wrong here, it's sliding away from me. Well, you got yeah, that your knees have to be part of the, part of the game. Put your hand 
Do you want to be the rhythm keeper? Start us out on a beat. How about like this? We'll do slow first, okay? So we're gonna, in the drum circle we have somebody who's kind of in charge of the beat for the group. And this, the buffalo drum is a good way to do that because you can hear that over everybody else. So let's go like this fast. Like that, okay. So this is going to be real simple. Okay, we're going to do bass, pause, bass, tone, bass, 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 tone, 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 bass, doing is we're doing it on a count of four except that the four is silent. So listen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? So that's, we can all count to four. Right. We can do them. Most days. Right? So we can do that. It's not so hard. <laughs>
So that wasn't so hard. No. Not at all. See? You got it. Well, let's do a different one. And sometimes it works, it works if you have words to go with it. So this one, and I, I stole it from this. There's this great video you can oh, no borrow from the library. And this is gentle drumming. So it's for people like us. So we're, it's a gentle way to, to introduction to the djembe. And they go through, he goes through half a dozen different rhythms. But one of them is, uh, it's called kuku. K-U-K-U, kuku. And the, the words he likes to use, and it's kind of like, Get into it. We will, don't think we'll go on like this for half an hour, 40 minutes. Wow. People kind of coming in and out with different instruments and different building up different rhythms within the rhythm. So we, we don't start where we start. We don't end where we started. But it's but it is hypnotic. It, it, that's part of the meditation aspect of and the healing aspect of the, of the drumming. Focus. Uh, it helps you focus. Obviously, I got a little unfocused a couple times. 
And then there's another one he uses, another cuckoo resin. It's and people make them up all the time, so it's not stuck to it. always to the rhythms that have been traditional. But that's a nice way to begin. But, um, these drums are, are used for all kinds of purposes and, and tradition, for ceremonials, for weddings and funerals, for calling people together. Jem, je, in Malinka language means gathering, and be means peace. So the djembe is gathering in peace for 12 different purposes. Sometimes it will be harvest ceremonials or planting ceremonials or the fishermen are coming in from the lake, <laughs> welcoming them back with their catch. Those the drums, different drum rhythms and songs will be used for those purposes. So it's, it's versatile, very versatile instrument. Um, there's 
some contemporary you know, rock and rollers that have drum bass in there. Doing backup as well as the drum kit. The drum bass. Now, did you want to show them the DVD? I did once, but yeah. Did you already do yeah. that once? But so this is we have a couple available here in the, the library. Yeah, you can check it out. Yeah, you can check it out. And it's, that's where these two basic rhythms came from. But you can go online and just Google uh, djembe rhythms and you'll get <laughs> dozens and dozens of, of links. And you'll be demonstrating uh, the different rhythms. And sometimes the, the better ones, they'll do the rhythm as you want to hear it perform, but then they'll slow it down to, um, piece by piece. So you can follow it and gradually speed it up. So you're not thrust into doing it real fast right away. But, so there's some really good ones out there. This one I found just the other day. And this is, uh, let's uh, try this one. Change it up a little bit and do it. Um,
My arms get tired. <laughs> Not me. I'm waiting for everybody to start dancing. <laughs> it's not. It's hard not to keep your feet from moving. Right. Your body. I Thank you very much, Greg. Very much.